What's going on YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. Man, I'm up early, man. I'm trying to get some trying to get some work done on one of my vehicles, man. But I got some gems for y'all. Alright? Now before I get into those gems, check out my intro. y'all so we back now check this out i know some of you guys might get like confused with like what designs per se you should put out for your brand now if you were if you're an artist like myself sometimes it make it makes things that much easier but if you got a design team or you decide you're deciding to go with a design team or whatnot sometimes you know things could be like a little difficult because you don't really know what's gonna what's going to sell and what's not going to sell. And you don't wanna put out, you know, a design that you know you think's gonna be popping, but at the end of the day, it's really not getting no clicks and it ain't popping. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you the technique that I use. And even in my mind, you know, I'm like the best designer out there. So it's like <laughs> but still you got you still gotta test the waters. So what I do is I make a mock up. All right, so I'll put out a design, make a mock-up, throw it out there, and just see what type of responses that I get back, all right? You know, you know by the responses that you get back if this particular piece is going to be a go or not, all right? So before you start dumping a whole bunch of money into it, you know, uh, that way you can gauge if you should actually put it out or not, okay? Now, let's say... You know you're getting you're getting some responses, but you you're, but you're still not sure. You know if you're gonna go along with the design or whatnot. Well, what you can do is you can start with like a minimum uh, quantity first. All right, make up a few pieces if you if you're gonna be doing them yourself. Make up a few pieces, see if they sell, and uh, just flip the money. All right, then you start. Uh, going into bigger quantities and just take it from there but if you're doing like cut and saw or whatever uh that could that, that could make things a little a little more difficult if the if the if the purchase uh quantity is is higher than what you're willing to you know uh pay for at that time but if it's like a low minimum a low moq uh, like let's say like five pieces To me that's worth taking a shot Alright so If you get like five pieces made up For let's say A little bit like Depending on what you're making A little bit like over a hundred bucks or whatever Why not go for it man I know I would So invest that hundred bucks Or a hundred and twenty bucks Whatever it's going to be at the end of the day, it is an investment. Invest it into that particular design, put it out, sell those five pieces or whatever amount that you buy, and just take it from there. So, you know, that's the best advice I can give pertaining to what type of designs you should put out for your brand. It's just, you gotta put it, you gotta fill it out. And the best way to fill it out is throw a mock up out there. And just wait for responses. This is the best. This is the best money saving way you can go. All right, as far as putting out a design, you know, if it fails, whatever, man. On to the next. On to the next. Okay. Once you start getting better at your craft, you know, you start getting more responses. You start making more revenue. And just take it from there okay so that's it for this particular video y'all once again try mock-ups see what people think then invest till next time y'all know make sure y'all hit that thumbs up make sure y'all hit that bell notification so you don't miss nothing 
All right, I'm out here looking real scruffy right now. It's real early in the morning. I ain't really had an opportunity to get flavorful yet, though. But you know, my teeth brush, my breath smell good. All right, y'all, let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.